morning everyone welcome back to the channel and a quick view at some spring wheat on our home farm so i'm interested always interested in cover crops and these are the stalks left over from volunteer rape and why these are so interesting is because the pigeons grazed it really well and there were little stumps left over and I was worried that the glyphosate wouldn't act and kill but it definitely has killed them and it strikes me that all seed rape is potentially a very good cover crop. Where all seed rape is not part of the rotation now this week I attended a base farm walk hosted by David White. It was on Friday the 22nd, which happened to be Earth Day, an initiative set up to raise awareness that we need to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions by mid-century to keep the global temperature below the one and a half degree C change. David identified three soil types on his Cambridgeshire farm and was quick to draw a direct link from his soil to his mixed variety milling wheats and homegrown flour and even to some very tasty fruit bread. The message we took from the afternoon was one of diversity, starting with David's practice of mixing milling varieties in the field. Not only were different varieties grown together, but they were established with companion crops of winter beans and vetch. In fact, companion crops became a real focus of discussions. Returning to David's mixed variety milling wheat, it was sown using home safe seed without a fungicide dressing. And as a result of his variety mix, Having a low rust resistance score, it had received a T1 fungicide. However, the beans and vetch companion crops with healthy nodule covered roots were still going strong and appeared to be sharing nitrogen with the wheat. There was an active debate in the group about terminating legumes in order to release the rhizobium fixed nitrogen to the wheat cash crop but as far as my visual assessment could tell there appeared to be plenty of nitrogen sharing already taking place. Interestingly it was probably David's all seed rape that stimulated the most debate both on the day and on Twitter. David had established his rape with a variety of companion crops a similar practice to Jake Freestone and David Miller. Considering the investment in both companion crop seed, a pass with AstroCurb and 160 kilos of nitrogen, I thought the crop looked great. We also went on to visit David's trials with bicropping of winter oats and beans and the spring version of the same. David establishes his cover crop behind a combine with a modified horse sprinter in order to take advantage of better seed soil contact and to generate a little soil movement. He has invested in a horse avatar which enables him to plant alternate rows of beans and oats or mix the beans and oats in the same row. Certainly it will make for some interesting seed cleaning. Thank you, David, for your thoughts to Provoking Farm Walk and for sharing all your thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of the next video. See you next time. Bye.